so in this class we are doing the practice questions of the yesterday's lesson okay so the first question as dashal said it's very easy yes the it's very easy what is the meaning of rub yes anybody can tell the answer of this thing but this easiness comes from the knowledge for example if you know this thing then it's easy for you if somebody know not knows it then it's difficult for them for example if you ask this to class 1 class 2 class 3 class 4 everybody can answer what is the meaning of rub but if you ask this question to any non muslim they will not explain you maybe they will say some words but they not explain you completely why because they don't know about it they have no knowledge so the easiness comes from the knowledge it means that if you think the paper is easy it means that you are knowledgeable you have a knowledge you have a information in your brain okay so that's why it's look easy if i say you what is which one is your left hand which one is your right hand in your brain the information is stored but if you ask someone that person who doesn't know what is left what is right that person will confuse why because that person didn't study the left and the right so it's all about the knowledge very good if you knows about the meaning of rub by the way what do you think everybody can participate and tell what do you think what is meaning Sir, the meaning of rub is the one who creates things from nothing yes like allah okay. for for which person we use the word rub allah okay so so i don't know the meaning allah. of rub yes what is the meaning of rub why we use the word rub okay rub is basically the word for the allah for the allah okay it's a it's used for the allah we say ya rab okay we say ya rab or we can say oh lord when we say oh lord yes ayan you want to say something sir i don't uh, in, i don't know the meaning of rab okay like we say uh, like we say ya rab help me it means in urdu we can say ya rab meri madad kijiye so it's like ya rab ya rab in english we can say oh lord in english we can say o oh lord o oh lord or in urdu we can say ya rab or ya allah okay so in urdu we can say the ya rab in english it's a o oh lord or o oh god okay so this is the word normally used in the praying we when we are praying when we are seeking the dua we say ya rab help me okay when we are making a dua in the mosque then the mozan said then the molvi said what they said they said ya rab be put the blessings on the nation ya rab put the blessing on the nation so they are using the word rab the word rab means oh lord it's just oh god okay it, it this is this word is in arabic and in english we just say it's a lord so in prayers they are using it in prayer they are using it this word used in prayers so let me write the answer let me write the answer for you on the screen so that you will get to know okay so if you see rab in english used in prayer and especially used when asking for help and guidance from allah from allah okay so this is the smallest one i made this c rab ya rab or rab rab means o oh lord o oh god used in prayer this word is used in prayer we use that word in the prayer or while making dua okay and especially used when we are asking help or guidance from the allah so it's very easy it's very easy everybody understand this thing yes sir yes okay yes, sir. so you guys can just write it in the that page or if you don't have that page then you just write in the notebook so the question number two. the blue or orange it's up to you it's up to you you guys can write it's up to you orange no right on to book i write it with my pencil okay on the book if you are writing it on the book if you print the complete book then okay it's up to you 
But yes, I have the complete the blue book. one. Blue one will look good because blue is the pen normally students use it. Okay. So the second one, it's very easy. It's very easy. What is meaning of Alhamdulillah? It's a common word. Whenever someone asks you in the Arab, in the Saudi Arab, someone asks you, how are you? We say Alhamdulillah. What does that mean? It's very easy. You know, na? It's mean, you know about I am Alhamdulillah? Fine. It means I'm fine. Yeah. Alhamdulillah means I am fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Yes. It is means. Sir, it's I... praise be to Allah. Okay. It's praise. Yes. Yes. Say it again. It's praise be to Allah. Okay. So, Ahmad Rufi, Ayan, Afan, Ahmad Anwar, Fahad, Hassan. Are you agreed with the point of Ashal or not? It's praise yes, to Allah yes, or praise be to Allah? Agree. Yes, sir. Praise be to Allah. It's praise to be Allah or praise be to Allah? Praise be to Allah. Okay. It's, it's praise. Praise be to Allah. It's praise be to Allah. It's praise be to Allah. So Ashal is right. Okay. So everybody, it's very easy. It's very easy. The words, the answers are very easy. And it's a praise be to Allah. I write it just to see who will correct it. Okay. Very good, Ashal. And very good to everyone. So that everyone make it correct. Okay. Now it's a praise to be Allah. So the meaning of Alhamdulillah is praise to be Allah. Now the question number three. Mention some of the blessings of Allah. Everybody should participate in it. So I will come to everyone one by one. So anybody can answer. So it's very easy. It's an open end question. There are so many answers for this question. Everything is a blessing of Allah. Okay. So can you tell me some means one the knowledge? Okay. Give us knowledge. So uh, uh, I shall say Allah give us knowledge. Knowledge. Okay, Ayan. What do you say? Sir, I, I said Allah gives us knowledge. Okay. Can you tell me more? There are so many blessings. Ashal or Ayan, anybody can tell me one more. Okay. Allah gives us place to live. Okay, give us place to live. Give us place to live. Okay. So, there are so many. If you think, Ahmad Rufi, Afan, Ahmad Anwar, Fahad, Hassan, can you tell me any blessings of Allah? Food to eat. Eat. We can get the food. Food. We eat food, na? So, food is the blessing of Allah. Yes. Any other thing? Sarana, Sarana. Yes. Drink water. Died. Sarana, Sarana. Ahmad said water. Very good. Yes. Who said the food? Sir, I'm reading the... Sir, I know. Yes. Reading the Quran or reading anything? Yes. Reading a Quran or reciting a Quran is a blessing of Allah. Because some people doesn't uh, want to read the Quran. They doesn't have time. So reciting a Quran. When Allah gives the tawfiq to that person, that person will recite the Quran. Only Allah gives the motivation for the Quran, for the namaz. Sir? Okay, it's also the blessing. Sir, day and night. Day and night. So, let's see. Let's see how many we have. Let's write. Day and night. Day and night. We have parents. We have Salah. Salah is a blessing of Allah. Because when we feel helpless, we do the Salah and we perform the namaz and ask help from the Allah and we will be motivated. We have Salah. And we have brothers and sisters. Trees. We have flowers. We have brothers and sisters. We have relatives. So if you see brothers and sisters. So we have relatives. We have friends. We have friends. Okay. We have money. We have place to live. We have food to eat on the table. We have a family. We have a good environment. Oxygen. We have an atmosphere. We living in a good environment good place with a good living standard all of the things are the blessing of allah okay if sir you said, missed one yes there are so many if anybody wants to add some can you can tell sir life life very good because okay. when the life is ended the person cannot do any good thing or bad thing so every good and bad deed will be stopped because for example when you enter in the exam 
can you read the book now no you are Did now you? ready for the exam whatever you read now you will have to answer the questions in the same way when the person died now that person can't do good things can't do bad things if that person thinks i do many bad, bad things that person can't do good things now now that person has just have to give the answers to the questions which allah ask allah ask why you did this now that person will give have to give the answer so life is also the blessings we have a life we can make the good things in life so that, whatever we can do here allah will be maybe allah will be happy if we go, do the good things yes i am sir i have one pain pain is also a blessing what? if we do if we don't have pain uh, so we not turn we uh, yes. something could happen to yes. us yes this is very good this is a technical point let me tell you one thing pain is a blessing of allah why pain is the blessing when there is a when the pain is happening what you do you go to the doctor or you took a medicine yes or no and you yes. and yes. allah you took it but but pay how the pain become blessing because there is a much dangerous illness and the name of that illness or the disease is a cancer in cancer when the cancer starts nobody gets a pain nobody get any symptoms there is nothing in it person didn't feel that he or she is ill or sick or there is a cancer because cancer doesn't have any pain in the starting in the starting there is no pain there is no illness there is no symptoms okay but but if someone get a pain when the cancer starts someone get a pain they will get to know that the cancer is start they will get a cure but if someone didn't get a pain how they will get to know they are not well they are ill so pain is also the blessing of allah when we feel pain in our and hand sir? what we do we took a medicine and our hand will be okay and if there is not and if there is no pain if there is no pain then maybe maybe the disease will take over the body and when you get to know the disease will take over the most percentage of the body and then it will be difficult to recover so pain is also the blessing of allah we will get to know that it's time for the recovery it's time for the medicine yes sir and if someone's ill like your mother is ill and you do a lot of things for her like give her water sit beside yes. her respecting parents that's also a blessing way. yes you are right respecting parents because it's same like reciting a quran reciting a quran performing a salah respecting of parents Sir. all these things are done by those persons those who have a good care good care by the parents and those who have a good knowledge of allah so those person okay in simple words we can say jab allah kisi ko taufeeq de jab allah kisi ko taufeeq de then the person will get the motivation for reciting quran for respecting elders for performing namaz otherwise there are so many muslims who are muslim by name just they are not performing salah they are just moving playing playing games making tiktoks making snapchats making streaks doing this doing this but not performing anything related to the islam so they are just basically the hypocrites why because we know namaz is farz on all of us so respecting parents has come from the heart reciting a quran comes from the heart performing salah Sir? comes from a heart yes ashal the why did you did you write after pen re what uh, respecting what are you saying i didn't understand what do you say i was asking after the pen you write wrote re why did you wrote that then you completed the whole word no i i am ah you i are okay because i am telling see human brain is a amazing thing human mind is a amazing thing why but this amazing thing is stop work why because it can't deal do things right now on my screen the document is open the video is open the student attendance is open and the chat is open okay and i am also telling the things from my mouth so and i am also controlling the mouse so i am moving and using three or four things at the same time so 
that's why i stop the typing and i am explaining that so that i explain it and then i write it because maybe maybe if i am talking maybe i wrote the wrong spelling for example right now i am talking maybe the speed of my talking or typing may be change if you see my words getting long because at that time i am typing so that's why i write the half word and when i finish talking then i type the full word got it ashil sir yes sir thank you that's why that this is the reason because human brain can't deal the two things at the same time it can deal but not perfectly that's why the mobile using mobile while driving is prohibited it's not allowed because when you are driving your brain is in the driving and when you use the mobile during driving maybe your brain will go to somewhere else and it and someone will got the accident because of that mobile that's and why it is not sir, allowed that's in the car that's why and sir that's why they place the cameras on yes, the highway that's why they place it whosoever do it they will also put themselves in danger also put ah. others in danger those person who are using the mobile money. at the time of driving because human brain is not capable to deal more than one thing at the same time not perfect we can do it but we are not perfect in it okay and computer is best in it so uh, everybody understand that point and so they will harm their money as well yes yes this is the point okay so uh, this is so everybody write the answers everybody write these answers Sir? Sir, home. Home, yes. The place to live, the place to live is a home. Home and earth, both will come. Earth is our natural home, and our real home. We made the home on the earth, and we live in it. So, earth is our natural home. Allah made our home in this space. The name of that home is earth, and we also make a home on the earth. So, Allah gave us capacity, the money, the power Sir? to build a home. Sir? So, this is a blessing. Of Allah. Sir. Yes. Sir, I have learned a lot. Oxygen. Yes, Afan, you are saying something. Ox. Your voice is not coming, Afan. I didn't understand what. He said that if they get. Sir, oxygen. Can anybody explain what does Afan is saying? Afan is saying. Uh, Allah give us oxygen to breathe. Okay, yes, Afan, you are right. It's oxygen. Yes, without sir, oxygen, life is not possible. Sir, we have lot of more. Yes, there are there are countless. There are countless. They are countless blessings. They are countless blessings of Allah because everything, everything in this world, whatever we see, whatever we see, everything in this world except Allah or other than Allah is. Our crea creation of Allah. Only Allah is the one who is always there. Before us, when we have, and after us, Allah will always be there. But any other thing other than the Allah is a creation of Allah. The world, the sky, the oxygen, the gases, the carbon dioxide, everything is a blessing and the gift of Allah. So there are so many. It's countless. You can't count the blessings of Allah. So everybody, write the answers of these in the worksheet. Sir. Sir, like in it? the last question, you also made three, four lines, and I also managed to make four lines. Okay, now you can write any five. Okay, if you write to all, you can write all, but you just can write any five. Okay. For example, if Sir, I, I ask you this question all in quiz, you. if I ask you this question in test, if I ask you this question in exam, or if I ask you this question in class, in the life class. Let's suppose, I'm just supposing it that if I ask you this question, that mention some blessings of Allah. You just have to tell me any five. So you can just select any five, or if you want to write any other, you can write. So everything is a blessing. Sir, I wrote all with okay, you. Okay, that's good. If you write all, then that's good. Okay. Otherwise, you can just select any five. So everybody got it. Everybody understand it? Yes, sir. Do we have a assignment? Yes, the assignment is available right now. Everybody can open the assignment, and you guys can do the assignment. Uh, 